Keep in mind that covers all branches of the military under the Department of Defense. So Army, Navy, Air Force and Marines, both men and women. It's not just local advocates who say something needs to be done. Senior leaders also admit that this is a major issue and it has been for years. It could be someone you know, a sister, father, or friend who signed up to serve our country. A new report released by the Pentagon exposes a nearly 40% increase of service members who say they've experienced sexual assault. It says women between 17 and 24 years old are at the highest risk. More often than not with sexual assault cases, um, the person who did the assaulting is going to be someone that the victim knows. In this case, that's true. The report says sexual assaults in the military occur most often between junior enlisted members who are peers, especially those who work, train, or live near one another. Advocates say that can make seeking help hard. There is different like reporting options in the military, but ultimately the victim could still end up feeling like Everybody knows. A similar report into the abuse was done in 2016. Since then, sexual assaults for both men and women in every branch increased significantly, but most notably the Marine Corps, which stands just under 11 percent. That's followed by the Navy, Army, and Air Force. They should be allowed to be their independent self who has ability and control over their bodies without someone else coming to impose on them. Acting Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan also weighed in, saying, quote, this is unacceptable, unquote. It's important to note the Pentagon says sexual assault reporting rates stayed about the same in 2018 compared to 2016. There are options to receive help, though, both within the military and not. If they call our hotline and they request for services from the YW, we are not required to report whatever services we've provided them to anyone. A special task force has also been assembled to deal with this issue. It's designed to identify, evaluate, and recommend immediate actions to improve the accountability process when reporting those sexual assaults. And this is just hitting the tip of the iceberg. For the full report and more on the task force, you can head to WTKR.com. I'm Erin Miller, News 3.